things that are to do with bad governance. So um, the average Biafran, to use your phrase, or Igbo man in the Igbo, um, is facing poverty much in the same way that the average guy in your base state is facing poverty. And so these are issues of governance. You don't agree with that? I agree completely. Okay. So if that is it, why isn't the agitation about tackling the problem, which is ensuring good governance, perhaps starting from locally? Because part of the allegations against you is that you don't confront your political leaders in the East and you'd like to blame Abuja for everything. Mm -hmm. Because the way I would want to solve a problem is not how a full animal would want to solve it. You really believe I, this is I, an ethnic thing and the ethnic. approach is different? No, the approach is different. No, it's not ethnic. It is more to do with value system. Right. The way you may want to solve a problem could be markedly different from how I do mine. What is the geographical uh, makeup of Biafra as far as you are concerned? This Biafra that you want. So for example, if we're doing a referendum, where will that referendum take place? Is it only the five? It's on, no. It's okay. It's on, which is River State by Elsa, Delta, Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Egoin. Cross River. Aquaibon? And Aquaibon, of course. Aquaibon, yes. right. Those are the coasters. Basically. By Elsa? Yes. Southeast and south south without Edo State. Without Edo State. That's correct. And then including Igeda, Idoma. Right, the Benways. So That's the correct. Igalas and part of the Absolutely. part of the Kogi yes. Kogi yes. State, right? Yes. Yeah. The governor of Anamba, sorry, the governor the of River State, yes. made a statement. I think it was yesterday or the day before yes, yesterday, yes, and said, you know, you should not be including River State it's for and the people. The people. To decide, not him. I can't decide for Biafrans. They have to go and vote and convince the whole world that they want Biafra. It's not for instance, it's only one man, one man, one vote. The, what if they're not even willing to take part in the referendum? Because I've had people from the South South, for example, from Bielsa, I've had people from Cross River. I think um, there's a famous um, actress, Kate Henshaw, for example, mm -hmm. wrote a long piece about why people of the South South don't want to be dragged into a place called Biafra. You're saying, regardless of what they say, you want a referendum in those parts? Because I know the majority of the people want a referendum. I was in Iguacha yesterday. How do in, you know? I was there yesterday. I was in Iguacha yesterday. You called Port Harcourt. I was there yesterday. I should have been there to see what happened. Now, they were delighted to see me. I'm sure you know that. It's all over the place. They are very happy to see me. I bet Kate Henshaw wouldn't get such a reception. Where should to go to? She's a big, popular Nollywood actress. I wouldn't necessarily... I, I can, no, I wouldn't I'm telling you. If I go to her village... Mm. People will turn out to see me, mother will turn out to see her. I was speaking there to the head of IPOM, Namdi Kanu, and for details of how you can watch the full interview, you can check out my um, Twitter handle at Kadria Ahmed. You can also join the conversation on the channel's Twitter handle, which is at Channels TV. Again, my Twitter handle at Kadria Ahmed, or on Facebook at Channels Forum. The hashtag you need in order for us to be able to pick up your questions and comments and share them on this program is hashtag NG the core. Now, I want to come to you, Celestine, because in that interview with Mr. Kanu, he was very clear about um, the portions of Nigeria that he considers part of Biafra, and he talked about the South-South. So specifically, when it comes to this particular call for independence for Biafra that includes states and areas that cover um, some of the places that you come from and the people you represent, what is your reaction? Well, I think one of the greatest problems this country has right now is that we are operating under a cost because we still, <laughs> this country still too much. The money that is being spent in this country is the stolen money. The oil that is being sold every day, stolen oil. Because in Ogoni, where I come from, our means of livelihood have been destroyed completely. We can no longer fish. We can no longer farm. We don't have good health. People can no longer go to school. 
Just tell me the offense that cancer were committed. That. Just give me a fair share of what you are taking from my land. And the man was just marching to the gallows and killed. 96 oil wells in Ogoni, five oil fields, nothing to show for you. Every weekend is better. Then, now, coming to Monday, the man is crying that um, the Igbos are being marginalized, that they are beginning to enforce them, and you want to come and steal my state. <laughs> Without coming, have you ever say if you want to save a man, you, you, you bring him down and save his head. You can't save my head in my absence. Nandi cannot stay in Nanambara or wherever you come from. To Mark Ogoni is my territory. Ejo is my territory. Who told him that? So I think that um, he just, um, he just made, making statements. He, he, he did make a point, which was that if there is a referendum, it will be one man. Referendum one will not vote. happen in River State. Hang on, hang I'm not on, the governor of River State, but it will not happen. No, but I know that. If we are confident about our belief that the people that he says see themselves as part of Biafra do not, why not test it with the referendum? Well, I'm not against referendum. Me, I want to structure it. Because River State, where I come from, Ogoni is the majority. We are not minority, but you won't believe that since the creation of River State, no Ogoni have been governor. No going to have been deputy, no going to have been speaker, no going to have been chief judge. We have qualified, overqualified people. So why? How? Your commissioner for information. <laughs> <laughs> so how? Why did that happen? So I need, I need restructuring. But uh, if it is for Biafra, referendum will not happen in River State. That I'm sure. Professor Chief, because I, I, live I, in Port I am listening to him and the phrase you uttered earlier just comes to mind again a, a country where it's all about sharing yeah. and not productivity it continues to be an issue isn't it this idea of the resources that we have which happen to be in the niger delta and everybody wanting a piece of that action so to speak frankly if we don't rebase our political economy on productivity and not sharing we are doomed and we are, we are doomed within a generation. You can see it. Why? Our demographic curve far outstrips the pace of our economy to catch up. Our population is growing at about 3% a little above that. We are still in negative economic growth territory. So we are not producing enough to be able to catch up with the number of babies we are reproducing. Okay? And so what's going to happen? At the moment, our debt burden is growing at a pace we cannot keep, we cannot service. In less than one generation, we will not be able, there will be no schools for the kids, no hospitals for the pregnant mothers, no food to feed anybody, no salaries to pay the workers, and we have to change. There, we, there's not enough to share. So we've got to start doing production. In the political economy of the First Republic, production and competitive production was the basis. You, and so people could talk about the peanut pyramids and the palm oil. And indeed, when you go to the southeast of Nigeria, you still see the kids selling cashew. And you see the oil palm plant plantations. All that was done by who? Michael Obara in the First Republic. Uh, you look at what happened. In 1959, Awolowo created the WNBC in Ibadan. And what was the payoff line? First in Africa. Correct? Mm -hmm. And what followed? Second to none. Eastern Nigeria Television. Now, that told you there was competition in productivity. And I think we can recreate that country in which there is pride in the person in Yobe about what they produce and they can bring it to the country. And the person in Kebi, and now you're seeing rice coming from Kebi. You, you see the person from Lagos, you see the person from Enugu. And all of us bring something to the Federation. And not this destitution of every Nigerian. And it's that destitution of all of us that brings the notion of popularization and marginalization. We can change it. Now, Odia, let me bring you in here because, I mean, we can't run away from the fact that Nigeria isn't working. It really isn't. 50 years after independence and nobody is happy. You know, there are those who are sort of uh, shouting louder than others. Um, we have minorities within the South-South, within the Southwest, in the North. North Central is an issue. We have Middle Belt, all of that. And, and we sort of have talked about, it's 50 years of independence, trying this, trying that. And Namdi said it's too late. And that actually maybe the solution is to allow people to just decide for themselves and move away. What do you think, given the level of failure? 
given the level of failure, we